There are only three verses that seem to describe the mark of the beast, and I want to start in verse 17, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark as an economic reference. In this verse, a coin sounds quite reasonable. During the previous war, Judea was having its own coins printed, and all the survivors of the war would be forced to use Roman coins. But there's a problem, alluded to in the previous verse. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. If the coin is the only mark, then this is probably a reference to the dead. Jewish burial practices at the time would have put coins over the eyes of the dead. It's not exactly the forehead, but the author is trying to be somewhat vague. If the author is talking about dead people, then the coin is the only mark. I'm leaning heavily toward this explanation. However, there is another possibility. The author breaks down people by social status, and the author rarely does this. And here's a coin for thought. On this coin, Nero is on the first side. On the back side, in the middle, is a representation of the Roman eagle standard. Titus, during the invasion of Jerusalem, would have had a very similar standard with him. Instead of the dead, the author could be describing the wealthy. In order to survive, the wealthy probably had to pledge allegiance to Rome. This may have included bowing down to the Roman eagle standard or kissing it. The wealthy started this war, and they would not get off the hook easily. Either way, we have a forehead mark. I don't like this possibility so much because then we have two different but very similar marks, and I'd rather have only one mark. Also, I'm not sure too many of the wealthy would have survived. But with either explanation, the forehead mark seems to fit with the end of the Siege of Jerusalem. Now on the number 616, I'm quite happy with the iconographic possibility so far. 616 seems to be potentially all over this story, but there's one that I haven't mentioned yet. I'm not trying to be crude, but in regards to the number of a man, picture the two sixes as testicles. All of a sudden, you get a man reference, and throughout this book there are female and male references that I have not addressed yet. Ancient thought on the meaning of numbers is virtually limitless, and it's quite possible that the author is really just calling Nero a prick. As I crack other allegories, this number could make more sense. Unfortunately, that's about all I can pick up from this reference. I'm leaning quite heavily toward the mark only being a coin, but the idea that there are two versions of the mark is possible, and it would also fall in line with the story. Either way, it didn't end well for the people of Jerusalem. A lot of people died, and everyone would one way or another accept the mark of the beast and Roman dominance.